start to grow pants. No people in the loud, yo, you just get a glance. Don't try to game, yo, just let the girl dance. The answer is no, you ain't got a chance. She's out of your league, just let the girl dance. You can watch her soul glow from a distance. But give her some face on, let the girl dance. Hey everybody, welcome back to Slot Rods. I'm Tony Mollick. And I'm Randy Silvis. And tonight, we're going to be seeing the 724 versus the 405 at Tailspin Hobbies in Apollo, PA. Tonight, we'll be concluding the loser's bracket. So far in the loser's bracket, we have seen the Phoenix beat Harley, Valentine 2 beat the Dominator, Goldie beat the 66 Olds, SOB beat Cherry Bomb, Sheldon beat the Ratfink van, and the Duster gets to sit out for the bye. That leaves us with the Sinister Camaro versus Slick Trick and the 57 versus the Pineapple Express. Two Oklahoma cars just trying to get back to the winner's bracket. First up, we got Tony Mollick in his 51 Chevrolet called Slick Trick versus all the way from Oklahoma, the Sinister Camaro. What's that? What is it? Yeah. 54.4 or 51, 51 Chevrolet. 51 Chevrolet. Yeah. All right, you good? Good. How about you, Drew? Both cameras? Brittany? I started walking away from him right around the 60 foot mark. Yeah, he was trying to gather you back in. There just wasn't enough track. That's one more Oklahoma car, back to the trailer, headed home. So the 405's last hope in the loser's bracket is Lutz in his Mini 57 versus Lewis Wingate in the Pineapple Express. All right, Keith, are you good? Yes, these big yellow things. Are you things. good? Brittany, you are good. All right, let's do this. Now that's a drag race. Yeah, it was close, buddy, but that old Dodge managed to hold him off. And Lewis managed to gap him before he sent him home. So your winners for the first round of the loser's bracket are Phoenix, Valentine 2, Goldie, SOB, Sheldon, Slick Trick, the Pineapple Express, and the Duster. And at the top of the second round, we have the 405 killer, Valentine 2, versus Keith Bean in the Duster. We all good? This is the first race of the second round of the loser's bracket. Go ahead. And that's Valentine all the way. Looks like Keith's going to be taking that Plymouth back to the trailer and taking that one back home. But that's all right. He's still got some uh, dogs in the hunt. Well, this one's going to be me and Randy racing each other. So uh, this is the SOB versus Goldie. Come on, man. We're, we're professionals good? here, Drew. Brady, you good? All right. <laughs> Woo. Going to break that controller there. Looks like the tires on that Corvette finally warmed up. She really stuck it coming out of the hole. And that's SOB moving on to the next round. Hey, brother. Looks like you and me again. Slick Trick versus Sheldon. Let's race it. Hey. Okay, Mike. Woo. That was a mighty close race right up to about a 600 foot mark, but uh, looks like Slick Trick's going to be moving on. Well, up next we got Spouse against Spouse. We got Brittany Wingate in her 82 Corvette called the Phoenix versus her husband Lewis in his 66 Dodge A1. Good luck, guys.
of round two of the losers bracket, or no, race number four of round two of the losers bracket. You good? Everybody good? Husband <laughs> and wife. Lewis is sleeping alone. Well, looks like Lewis doesn't get banished to the couch after all. Yeah, good for him. It's easier to put that truck on the trailer than it is to put the toothpaste back into the tube. Okay, this is the third and final round of the loser's bracket. The two remaining cars will both move on to the winner's bracket. We have the Phoenix versus the SOB and Slick Trick versus Valentine 2. Hey, Tony, that gives you two chances to get back in the winner's bracket. That fact has not escaped my attention. First up, we have Brittany Wingate in the Phoenix versus Tony in the SOB. Yeah, this is kind of like a rerun here. Of so no, many races here. Oh. Uh, uh, I raced you twice. And you uh, me out. Uh, and then, uh, then your and car lost died. to her. The yeah. least you could have done was whooped her ass after you did that. <laughs> she did that little witchery <laughs> magic. She I had, feel like everybody's cars were breaking when it came to the race. She That's had that witchcraft happen. magic go in there. She put that right, mojo on. Are we good? Yep, yep. All right, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Oh! Whoa! Oh, looks like the Phoenix couldn't find her mojo that time. I've been waiting since Halloween for that race. Well, looks like I'll be getting a chance to move on to that winner's bracket with at least one car. All right, folks, that brings us to the last race of the evening. We got Valentine 2 versus Slick Trick. That's kind of always like she was we, really, we really so looking many. forward like, to this. What happened? I know I came off the track. Did I win or lose? Look, I'm you. <laughs> Are you good? And when I say a bumper, that's slick trick by a bumper. And the dual winners of the losers bracket are Tony Mollick in Slick Trick and the SOB. Congratulations, Tony. Hey, man, I'm just glad to get through this losers bracket and get these hot rods back into where I might be able to take a shot at winning this whole thing. The next time we meet, we're going to race the winners bracket down to the last person standing. And our winners bracket is the Cannonball, Cam's Mustang, Kelly's Corvair, Rambunctious, the Grand Gia, Cobra, the Ace of Spades, Bilzebub, from the 405, the Murder Nova, still alive and kicking, Shelby, again from the 405, their leader, Little Big Chief, the 8-Ball, Mellow Yellow, the RT, Venom, the SOB, and Slick Trick, surviving the loser's round and getting back into the competition. So, till the next time we get together for the exciting conclusion of the 405 versus the 724, I'm Randy Silvis. And I'm Tony Mollick. And you've been watching Slot Rods. The answer is no, you ain't got a chance. She's out of your league, just let the girl dance. Don't give her no loud, though, you just get a glance. Don't try to game, yo, just let the girl dance. The answer is no, you ain't got a chance. She's out of your league, just let the girl dance.